Rita Alfaro. I'm the Music Librarian for Fort Worth Public Library, and you are joining us for Off the Record, our Q&A session with our Amplify 817 artists. And today we have Big Heaven. Hi guys. Hi Rita. Hi. Hi. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So we're going to start off with an easy question. If you guys can introduce yourself to everybody and then maybe talk a little bit about the band, how you guys formed, anything else you're in, etc. Well, I'm Amanda Hand and I started this band. Rock, Rock Miller. <laughs> I, I Hired guy? <laughs> no, no. I, I've been tangentially related to Big Heaven until I was in it. Yeah? Yeah. That's true, yeah. So I'm uh, Peter Marsh. Uh, I am the most recent member. He's and been, I'm, yeah. yeah. Sorry. And I'm Sam Dobbin, and uh, yeah, I joined when she put a thing on Facebook looking for a drummer. <laughs> <laughs> and then the rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> So uh, you guys have been around for a little while now, or you've been around for a little while doing music. Um, can you talk about some of maybe your influences, especially for the album Olivia, which is on our Amplify 817? Well, um, in 26, no, 17, 2017, yeah. Brock and I, who are longtime friends, were in a um, Kinks cover band project that was short-lived on purpose, and um, learning all those songs really kind of inspired all the songs that came out of Olivia. Um, and I just have always loved pop and rock, um, you know, just anything with a good beat and that you can dance to. Um, that's kind of where that came from. <laughs> so, uh, are, is there any specific musicians or artists? I know you've kind of talked about like 60s girl groups. I really love 60s girl groups, so. Yes. Um, are there any in particular that kind of influenced your sound or your lyrics maybe? Um, I love the Crystals. I love uh, Martha, uh, the Vandellas, Martha Reeves and the Vandellas. Um, let's see, the Ronettes. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what's her name? Leslie Gore. Is it, I'm just, you know, Caleb was always on, and I'm an 80s kid, and they were playing like the best of Motown and the girl groups Mid and Stax and yeah. like the, the best of the 60s. Um, yeah. I love Aretha, of course. She's an idol. Um, so yeah, um, and then my very first favorite song ever was Material Girl by Madonna from the skating rink. <laughs> so thank you Silver, Silver Wheels out on the west side nice. for putting all that in my head. So are you from originally from Fort Worth or yes. did you move here? I'm from Fort Worth. I think, well no, I know Peter's not. Yeah. Rock is sort of, actually I'm the only one that was born here. Yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is everybody else DFW area, or are you like complete oh, transplants? We all yeah. hats, yeah, yeah, for sure. But like, he's from Ohio originally. I'm from Oklahoma originally. I grew up in Hearst, so I'm from here. He's from the mid cities, yeah. Yeah, yeah but he's got Midwest connections. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how has growing up in Fort Worth or Fort Worth Sound changed over time, and how has that maybe influenced you guys? Ooh, being the oldest, the oldest guy here. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean I don't I know. I remember. Um, back in the days of the rec room, before it got, you know, eminent domain or something. Um, I saw my first show there. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it, yeah, that, I was thinking of bands like, you know, like, Deucey and, uh, I don't know, sub -Oslo. Would I? Would I? Yeah, oh yeah. God, I love Would I. Um, yeah, the garage sale song, if you can find that by those dudes, look that up, because it's, it's a, it, it's, yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it was, it was harder and edgier and punkier, I think. As far as like the, the bars and stuff, and you think about like what was on Berry Street at the time. God, what was that? The um, Art Park? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I accidentally kicked the door of that joint into that owner's face one night, and it was, I didn't even mean to, pissed him off, it was great. Um, <laughs> I think, I don't know, somebody else told me, why'd you do that? I'm paying attention. Um, but yeah, man, I, you know, I did uh, jams on Wednesday nights at, at the Rec a lot with like Lee Allen, Ken Shimamoto, um, Carl Pack. And uh, so, you know, that, that whole thing, you'd see a lot of those shows. Those were like serious rock shows. But the cool thing about that jam is that once it got past, I mean, because you think of Fort Worth and jams, you think, oh, God, it's another stodgy, boring, like, hashed out blues jam. And I don't even apologize for saying that because, you know, uh, white people. Well, feel, like, there was the Confusatron <laughs> thing at Black Dog Tavern downtown. And that oh, was yeah, so dude, amazing. Black Dog was dope. Yeah, 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 that was just a gritty, like, we're all just going to make art here Serious in this space. Improv. And it wasn't, it was improv, but it wasn't uh, pretentious. It was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't know. like a bunch of jazz students trying to one-up each other. No, no. Yeah. no. Yeah. 
So. Some Matt Skates in that band? Confuser Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then, you know, I don't know, I, I, I went on Walkabout and wound up in Oklahoma and started a restaurant. Yeah. And stuff where they make, oh, never mind. Um, <laughs> That's well, you know, I was, pick up, but I yeah, had was, a family and then kind of left it and came back and about 10 years ago started trying to get serious about the scene again and it was kind of a different group of people, but it helps the same spirit though, word. what? It helps if you don't think about that word. See? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, just a thing you it's, do. it's a useful word. Sure. Community. But the community. Use community. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, it was a different group of people, but I feel like it was kind of the same yeah. spirit of like, we're just going to do stuff. Um, and then that's about when like dreamy life or low life and dreamy sounds were kind of merged and then became a thing and, and it was like big in that. Yeah. Then we're gonna open a studio and then you wanna come record something, yeah, come do it. Let's just record something and that you was, know that was a goal. Yeah. So when did Cloudland happen on in between all that? When did it happen? Yeah. Uh, I mean, because like twenty twelve? No, 11? no, it was Cloudland's newer than that. Yeah. yeah. Cloudland's only been open maybe Five six years. Okay. Yeah. Dreamy happened um, out of uh, Cameron Smith and Britt Robichaux and Robbie, Robbie Rux and Jen and Rux. Jen Rux, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they just kind of combined their efforts, and that's because it was like low life and dreamy sounds. And right. It's like yeah, let's make yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, Cloudland was Britt's baby, and that. Okay. That yeah, that uh, didn't happen until. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like 2014, 2015, somewhere around there, I think. But it made um, it, you know, available for people that just wanted to come make art. It kind of made a household sound, and there's like a handful mm-hmm. of producers, which all those people he mentioned, um, Robbie and Jen are, are amazing engineers, recorders. And actually, Jen probably doesn't get enough credit for, for what an amazing um, recording engineer and artist she is. She's yeah. brilliant. And I say that because I love Robbie. Yeah, and I've worked with Robbie a lot, but Jen, Jen's call me. special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have several artists who've worked with them and given shout outs to them during these interview series. Um, yeah, they're definitely a staple now in Fort Worth and the scene has definitely grown so much. Exponentially, um, yeah. Yeah, and I think a lot of people still have that DIY spirit, but they're doing a lot of collaboration still. Yes. Are there any artists that you guys kind of want to call out that you've collaborated with or really just love doing shows with? Man, I I got I hit know, to I mean, Peter through the Andy Pickett thing, uh, which that's a story all by itself. I, I used to let Andy crash my couch like back in the 90s. And that's the only reason I think I got a call to play guitar in that band. Uh, and Peter was doing the drum thing because War Party used to back him up yeah, pretty yeah. regular. And yeah, I, I can't stop joining bands basically. No. <laughs> But, I mean, you know, he was doing bass on this thing, but one of one of the pleasures of my life was was playing in a band with him on drums, because he has these little physical tells, like there's. I'm a twitchy guy. Yeah, I love it though. <laughs> like, in, what was that in? Um, oh gosh, um, that one that has the opening that sounds like a fanfare. Um, I'm in Japan. Um, ba, 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 da, da. Shoot. Yeah. It's, it's great. It's, 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 it's on that record yeah. with, with the, the white denim cut off shorts girl behind. Yeah, the self titled. Um, Andy Pickett, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but anyway, there's a part where there's like a, a, like a, a whole step, like, you know, shift of a chord or something. Da-da, you know, and when it would happen, Peter would give himself, you know, he would like lean into it. Like, yeah. And I'm like, ah, it would, it would. I'm you. happy I got to do that for you, but man, I was really so damn happy. Um, it was beautiful. Well, and like getting all of these guys has allowed me to kind of make some bonds with like Joe Gorgeous. Like I love playing with those guys. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah. It's kind of weird though because you know, 2020 we had all these plans and we we're gonna play with all these people, and then it's I'm like kind of going back in my catalog. But um, like Professor Fuzz, we're they're a, a Dallas band, but we played with them quite a few times, and they're always a lot of fun. Hey, Mike. Hey, Marin. Hey, Brooks. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, but on the flip side of that, I've noticed too in the, in the face or, or wake of the, the COVID thing that because it has driven people sort of indoors and, and away from venues. I mean, yeah, there's been streaming things, but like you know, um, you know, like Cameron and and Stevie did a you know the Smiths uh, deal 
concept oh, yeah, for covers. Home, yeah. yeah, so like oh. we did a Cure song because Robert Smith did a Patty Smith cover because Oh, I didn't even know about that. It's well, <laughs> I, I'm giving them away, but I I, th I helped um, they're both engineer Smiths. one of them. Right. Yeah, but but you know, I mean, when else would something like that happen? And I did yeah. the whole thing with my my buddy Justin who lives in San Diego. Yeah, that's and true. And we we made EP singles. We've got another Over EP internet, working. Yeah. 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 Purely file share back and forth deal, and it sounds good. In fact, it you know it got uh, right up in uh, the weekly, mm -hmm. and it's like only halfway from here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, and then Mandy has been so big on kind of keeping us active in one way or another that we actually got a nod for best pop in the uh, the Observer, Dallas Observer. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it's just because we managed to keep our, our fingers on the pulse of something, or just being like vaguely visible because mm -hmm. there's some really good acts in there and I yeah. I never yeah. thought that the, the Observer knew we existed, but apparently they do. Well, we make fast friends. <laughs> right, we you know, we're, we're pleasant all, people. We're, we're all about keeping the community like alive. I mean, it's, it's yeah. we're, we're all in this together and it's just like. Definitely. And that's what, like, I mean, everyone we play with are, like, if we don't, didn't know them before we played with them, they became our friends after we were done playing. Well, that's kind of like with Sam, because, <laughs> like, you know, this is this is our, like, 4.5 lineup change. It, that's a whole other thing. I don't mm -hmm. want to bore everybody, but, like, I just put out a, a call, because I, I needed a new drummer, and he just answered. He goes, I'm your drummer now. And then Sam knows, like... No, no, it was, <laughs> hello, I am drummer. <laughs> Because I, I, I maybe had a few drinks that night. I was like, that'll sound funny. And it was funny. I yeah. was like, I And then I woke up in the guy. morning and I was like, who is this person asking me to be in their band? And I was like, <laughs> he completely forgotten that I had said that. And I was like, oh, yeah, I asked for this. Okay. Oh, that's really yeah, okay, funny. cool. Yeah, I gotta learn these songs now. Yeah. But Sam knows, like, everybody, which is funny because I don't know why I'd never run into Sam, you know? So all of our orbits kind of could finally converged. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, and shoot. Sam and I were attended a. Uh, uh, radio television broadcasting program at TCC at the, together. I mean, we had was it Andy Haskett. Yeah, Andy Haskins. Uh, yeah, he yeah. also taught at TCU, I think. But so we have common points of reference. And I just, it was a trip because the last time I saw him before that, he was a fresh faced, like clean shaven, young, spry, boyish, like uh, church band dude. Yeah, because that was that was like 13 years ago. It was. Yeah, like I was right out of high school. <laughs> Dang. I know, right? <laughs> I'm the Sam baby is our the baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, you guys are amazing performers, so Thank that's you. definitely why you guys have recognition, and I think your sound is really unique, um, and that's why we're really happy to have you as part of our Amplify 17 family. Um, how do you guys feel about Amplify 17, and how do you feel like it's helping you as an artist, or even any of the other ones that are on our platform? Um, I think it's really, um, well, it's an honor to be recognized by yeah. our city. You know, it's like you can do a thing in a city, but then for the actual city to be like, hey, you're a person that's making something for for us, you know, for us and for everyone. And so I just think it's awesome. And um, I really hope that people who maybe don't subscribe to streaming services because of whatever reason, you know, whatever they, you know, I hope that they can find, I hope they enjoy this free streaming. This, well, yeah. It's very cool. It's, yeah. it, it's a gateway to stuff that's specifically happening here. Right. But I mean, it's and it's not you know, like just some like, you know, you happen to be within one of the zip codes that fits the description. I mean, the names I saw included in this deal are wonderful. I mean, oh, and like it's, yeah, Lee Charles, it's very... uh, you know, Grant. Yeah, what, it was great. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, and what? Um, Yokio. Yokio, yeah. Yeah, she's, yeah, yeah. Hannah's really... She's yeah, doing Hannah's something. Cool. Yeah, and, you know, and, and, Mean Motor yeah. Scooter, of course. Oh, and God, yeah. I just really love how um, it's representative. It's not, it's definitely not just one sound. Yeah. yeah Absolutely. Yeah. It's in inclusive. It's inclusive. Yes. Yeah, because every, every, every one of those, those you know, acts, uh, yeah, can, we don't step on each other's toes. It's yeah. not the Yeah, same well thing. said, yeah. And I think that's part of the Fort Worth music community as well, is just everybody is very happy to work with each other and try to help each other out. And mm. I know in other cities, it's it might be a little harder to get your it's foot in the door. It's a network. Yeah. You know, and you think about other people who may not be like, like, you know, you mentioned Yokio, and I'm, in my mind, I'm like, you know, Sam Culp, which makes me think of like Peter Waringa, oh, you right. know, and on down the mean, and all these people are like world-class talent. Mm. Agreed. 
they're really amazing performers too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Everyone on the roster is really amazing, and we were just really happy that everybody are, accepted our invitation to be part of the Amplify 17 family. So, oh, we're happy awesome. to be asked. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna wrap up now, but just a last question: I'll leave floor open for you guys. If we missed anything that you'd like to talk about, and if you'd like to kind of plug your social media and let people know where they can find out more about you all and your shows coming up, and if their show's coming up. <laughs> um, at Big Heaven Music on um, Instagram and Twitter. And follow us on Twitter, um, that'd be great. Instagram is a little bit more active, but Twitter's gonna start getting, getting there. Um, and then we're also on YouTube. Um, you might wanna type in Big Heaven Someone Else, cause our, our um, most, well, second most recent video comes up. Cause there's a Chinese rapper also who goes by Big Heaven. <laughs> so you might see him first. So on YouTube, Big Heaven Someone Else. Um, and then everything else is just at Big Heaven Music. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I don't think we have any shows coming up. But. We do not have anything booked, yeah. but. Well, I think um, we're going to get into the studio then. Yeah, I mean, we are. We're going to record one of the songs that we did today and um, probably some other things. And like yeah. you said, Strange Times. And we're um, looking into doing a lot more with video. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, keep, right. keep an eye on that. Oh, you thought 
up to take a step Well maybe you should go work on your thesis Trust me when I say don't make a sound the same thing too Cause in the end I wanna be with you Don't let them be the last words you'll ever say to me Don't let them be the last words you'll ever say to me Don't let them be the last words you'll ever say to me Don't let them You'll never say to me Don't let them be